Hello, my name is Bill Yeomans. I'm the president and CEO of Orfinders. The symbol for Orfinders is ORX. We're listed on the TSXV. We went public in December of 2012. We raised $5 million at 50 cents, right when uh, gold was $1,750. Uh, shortly thereafter, starting in January, we started to drill our flagship project, which is located in the Kirkland Lake Camp. For the following eight months, on average, we booked 50,000 ounces of resource per month. So with a 40-hole drill program, we were able to define 442,000 ounces at an average grade of 1.29 grams per tonne. This was according to a SRK 43101 report that was recently released in December of 2013. It's been a difficult cycle. We've seen our stock go down, although we've had a tremendous amount of success. We've averaged uh, $6 an ounce is our average uh, cost for discovery in the Kirkland Lake Camp. Our infrastructure is excellent. We're 30 kilometers southeast of Kirkland, so we can get to the property in 20 minutes. At this time right now, what we're doing is preparing for permitting for the deposit. We are a unique junior in that we have a stockpile of mineralization that was left behind from our previous operators. They left us uh, 3,000 ounces at an average grade of 4.14 grams per ton. This is sitting in three stockpiles, and we're in close proximity to several different um, mills in the area. Uh, that's the uniqueness of working in a mature gold camp. Our plan is to process this pile if the gold price is permissible. Uh, we have started our environmental baseline studies. We started them in July of 2013, and uh, by law, we need over a year of baseline information before we can commence with these sort of activities. In conjunction with that, we have a road that is being put into the property. Again, because we're in brownfields, our road total cost is going to be 100,000 approximately, and construction will start around June and, or early July. For myself, uh, our company's strategy has been to work in brownfields exploration environments where infrastructure is in place and exploration costs are low. Our average cost for drilling was $78 per meter and we are able to tap into the local skilled labor forces in all our projects. So we don't have camps or people in hotels, we don't need planes or helicopters. So all of our ground uh, money is spent uh, directly on developing uh, the ore bodies. Now, other companies that are doing a similar thing, uh, one in particular that I like is Terax, and they're located in the Yellowknife area, and they're developing projects in a similar strategy to us. They're in mature gold camps. They can drive to their properties. There's a tremendous amount of history there they can tap into. In our case, we were able to utilize 200 previous drill holes from other companies. I believe Carax is doing something very similar. Thank you.